Living your 2018 as if it were your last year and are we on a roll? This is our 40th video and I am getting more and more letters from people who are writing me messages in Facebook or messages on YouTube or even in my email where they're telling me that they're going back to school, they're taking care of their health, they're thinking about things. People have been writing me and telling me that they're taking a closer look at their relationships and seeing that maybe that some things that they were just letting go by or things that they should really be taking into account because they were really bothering them and slowing them down. And I am so happy about that. And today I wanted to get a little bit more serious and I wanted to talk to you about playing Russian roulette with our lives and with our health. Now, I've told you before, this is the 40th video, this is nothing new. I've told you before that I've gotten out of fibromyalgia and I would like for everyone to understand some very important things about that disease which are important for everyone. Fibromyalgia is like a sort of litmus test for stress in your life, for bad eating habits, bad lifestyle habits. It is a disease that your body gives you an immediate reaction to things that maybe you have never thought about. Now this is what I wanted to talk to you about today. Now when you do not have a pressing physical problem which shows you immediately where you are going wrong, shows you immediately that there are some things that need to be changed right now. We sometimes take for granted things that we are doing today and we don't think about it because we're not feeling the effects of it. This is why I created this segment, living your 2018 as if it were your last year. So you take into account, what is it I'm doing right now? What is it I'm eating? What is it I'm smoking? Am I smoking? You know, what is it I'm drinking? What kind of relationships am I having in my, in my life that I'm not actively working to better? What is it about my job that I don't like? What is it about my life that I don't like that I could fix, but I'm not doing it because I'm thinking I'm going to do it next year. I'm going to do it next year. I'm going to do it next year. I want you to understand that things that we are letting go by today are creating possible health problems later. That is why I'm telling you, do not play Russian roulette with your life. Now I went to have drinks with a friend of mine last night. In the past two years, his uncle, his father, his mother, and his sister have had bouts with tumors. Now we sat down and we ordered some drinks and they brought us some snacks and the things that he ordered and the things that he was eating were absolutely on the non, totally non, totally non healthy list. And then he goes out and he smoked a couple of cigarettes and I asked him, I said, you know, because you have this correlation in your family with tumors, have you thought about, you know, maybe having a general checkup or maybe doing some prevention for things that you can control now, like diet, exercise, wellness habits, you know, make sure your life is always going fantastic. He looked at me like it was a total blank, like a total blank, like, oh, hey, yeah, I guess I could. And he goes, no. And I said, well, have you spoken to this with your doctor? You know, you have a family doctor. I said, does your family doctor treat the whole family? He says, yeah. And I said, well, has your family doctor talked to you about this? And he goes, no. And so I, I said, well, maybe you should. And he really looked at me like, well, maybe I should, you're right. And this happens so many times where we never take into account what we're doing right now in this present moment the effects that it might have on our body because we don't see them immediately and so we don't think about it. Now when we move ahead in our lives, maybe we never really connect the dots and see that maybe we could have exercised more, we could have eaten better. In the past, we don't need to do it when there is a problem. What we need to do is not play Russian roulette with our lives and do it before there's a problem. That way we can always stay in great health, we can live long healthy lives, and we don't even have to have our minds worry about potential problems that may arise. So we should think about it now. Now when I work with people, and I work with people in groups, and I talk to them about prevention and wellness, a lot of times people put up a lot of resistance and they make a lot of excuses, but then if the conversation goes on to what is actually an act, the frustration, the problems with relationships, the problems with work, everybody just jumps into the conversation and everybody has some frustration to talk about. And I go, yes, but if we act 
beforehand. We can avoid those problems. Those problems that you are all now frustrating about do not have to happen and continuously happen all the time in our lives. But we have to work on prevention. So before we are looking for love in all the wrong places and we jump into that relationship with that person who obviously does not have really our best interests in heart and then we are talking about six months down the road, the frustration about that relationship, maybe we could have avoided that, you know? working on something six months before. Maybe our sense of not wanting to be lonely and yes, I'll accept kind of anybody that passes by just so I don't have to stay by ourselves. Now there are millions, millions of these situations, but I want you to always remember, are you talking about the situations that are frustrating in your life or are you trying to see where they started? And if you do that and you also think about how can I work today to not create more problems or situations in my life then you're good to go you're good to go and life will change life will definitely change if we really work on having a good healthy lifestyle and really loving our lives we can really change not only the way we're living but also the condition of our bodies our health and go on and live a healthy life without having to worry about anything. See what you're doing today that maybe you think is not important for your health or won't be important for your health until a long time down the line. But if we all try to connect the dots and try to work on prevention and having a healthy lifestyle today, we won't have anything to worry about tomorrow. And that's what I hope for you. So live your life, love your life, love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. And please don't play Russian roulette.